Question before we start. Is there any one of you who maybe would like to be happy in their life? If so, please raise your hand. Yes. So let's have a look into the topic. Okay, how to achieve productivity and also how to achieve your life goals in what, 20 minutes? So let's see where to go. Before that, I quickly want to introduce myself. We'll, we'll make it happen. Can okay. Point there? Yes, makes sense. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Janine Jakob. I'm originally from Germany and I'm a happiness and career coach and also an intercultural training. I used to work for a Fortune 500 IT company, you may know HP, uh, back in Germany. At one point, I decided I wanted to do my master's degree. One year in Germany, one year, this is how I threw myself out of the comfort zone. Why not go to China and study at a French business school? I literally was afraid of coming to China because there's so many bad stories that you always hear and you have like a different um, picture of what China is like. However, I can only tell you, throwing yourself out of the comfort zone is very healthy and good for you. And a good outcome was, yes, it was challenging, but I found my purpose in life while still working for HP Germany, studying in Suzhou, um, founding some startups, networking events, etc., etc. I quit my job and founded Full Potential Partners in Shanghai. But let's get into the topic. I want to give you your path to a happy and successful life. Number one, most important is for whatever you do in your life, self-awareness. Find your true self. Like, not only what are your strengths and your weaknesses, we got trained this already back in school to find this out, but also like what you enjoy doing, what you're really, really interested in, not what your parents or grandparents are interested in. No, what are you interested in? And also like, remember, it is totally normal that sometimes you may feel lost, you may feel emotional. There's different life phases in our lives where our needs will also change. So you have to rediscover yourself. And this is also what I did just a few years ago when I ended up in China, which is actually just two years ago. Yeah, and also know your values. If you want to choose the right job for you, the right partner, the right friends, whatever it is, Know your values, because then you can also make the right choice. But your values can also change over time. Number one, self-awareness. It's really the key for everything. Number two, if you want to become happy, I also suggest you, and this is also what psychology says, build your self-esteem. What do we mean with self-esteem? On the one hand, it is self-love. Yes, truly loving yourself. I know that sounds really, really awkward. And no, it's not selfish at all. And also working on your self-confidence. And here's the good news. Like math, like sports, like happiness, this is something you can easily learn. Even if you grew up on a low self-esteem, you can change that. And according to psychology, if you want to be happy, if you want to be successful in life, you need to have a healthy, good self-esteem. What an easy secret. And then most important is also create like a habit, a morning routine where you kind of like also practice whatever it is that can boost your confidence, that can boost your daily happiness because it's only you who can make yourself happy. Not money, not other people. And also positive mindset can help you a lot on achieving, now that we speak about achieving life goals, in order to achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life. And it's like proven, there's so many people, especially a lot of like salespeople, they show it very often. If you see like who, which sales guy is successful, who is not? A positive mindset or even athletes. It makes the difference whether they achieve a goal, whether they become the world champion in soccer or basketball, or they just stay average. Last but not least, it's all about taking action. So really like do it, learn it, and adapt as we entrepreneurs say all the time. Okay, let's 
take a look at toolkit number one that I want to give, give you. Getting things done. Has any one of you ever heard of getting things done? The methodology or the book? Getting things done is the methodology used. And I was, when I lived in Finland, I was surprised like, why do all these like managers from Ericsson, because my, my neighbor, he worked for Ericsson, we threw this really big house party. Why are they able to finish work on a Friday at like four or 5 p.m. to come to our party? It's funny, but all of them came from different countries around the world, different continents. And they already told me this at an early age. And they said, you got to read Getting Things Done. Follow this methodology. And yes, if you want to live a happy life, also increasing your productivity, the way how you work at workplace or even in your private life can make a difference in your happiness level. So yes, Getting Things Done, number one. Capture whatever grabs your attention, like the email that flows in, the WeChat message, whatever it is that grabs your attention. For example, workplace emails. Then clarify, meaning decide actually what, if it's actionable or not. If not, then trash it or incubate it or just file it in the right folder. If it is actionable, right here, right now, come on, just do it now. Organize. <laughs> Put it where it belongs, the email or whatever it is. And also create an action reminder. Actually, it kind of sounds so easy, doesn't it? Number four is really important, reflect. So review frequently, weekly or daily. Um, check the current actions, um, update your list, clear your mind. Do you know that when you're super stressed, you know you have not finished your to-do list, but you want to go home, you just want to relax? But no, it's still on your mind because actually you did not um, like finish this one, you did not do this and that, and it can stress you out through your dreams and everything. Last but not least, engage. Simply just do, do it whatever you just like prepare it in advance and do it with con confidence. This may sound very abstract now, but check it out, Getting Things Done by David Allen. And I promise you, if you follow at least just a part of it, it can change your life in your productivity as well as just your work-life balance, your happiness, whatever it is. Okay, number two. Has any one of you ever heard of essential oils? It's super easy. It's just an oil. But I really integrate this by now in meetings, normally also my workshops and trainings. I just like let people um, like sniff an essential oil, like peppermint, for example. A lot of people are often stressed. And then I just let them sniff peppermint, normal peppermint, as it, like you know it from your tea. And you will not believe that, but within a few seconds, you can really feel how your mood, how your thoughts, how everything is like opening up. You're like uplifted, more motivated, and everything is changing. And this, just by integrating this in your workplace while you're super stressed and tense, can make a huge difference in the way how you work. And also, of course, in your productivity. And also, it can reduce your stress level, etc., etc. It has a lot of benefits. Or if you're stressed, then I would rather go for lavender, for example. Try it out. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it's so powerful. Toolkit number three, breathing and meditation. I mean, we all know how to breathe, right? Theoretically, yes. But... Taking three really deep breaths consciously can make a huge difference when we're emotional, angry, uh, when we're actually not productive at all right now because we have these 20,000 thoughts in our mind distracting us from our actual work. But just like even if you don't know how to meditate or you, whatever it is, you don't have time as you come up with this excuse, just taking three really deep breaths In and out. You can try it out now while I'm speaking. Just while you listen to me, just take some deep breaths in and out. And you will see that getting a little bit more oxygen in your body can make a difference in the way how you work, how you make decisions, etc., etc. And of course, also, meditation is very powerful. 
Maybe you have heard Madonna say, a lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. It's as simple as that. So now I want to finish this talk actually with one of the most important things. I want to ask you the question, what do you want? I'm not asking your husband, girlfriend, parents, children. I'm asking every one of you right now, tell yourself what is it exactly that you actually want in your life? And I mean, how can you achieve your goals and your wishes if you actually don't even know what you want? So here, tip number one. If there's anything you get out of this today, then it's this one, very powerful. So first of all, find out what do you want? And again, this goes back from how we started today, self-awareness. Once you know what you want in life, what your goals, what your dreams are, write it down as detailed as possible. Like, like in a book, or you can use a vision board, for example, to visualize it, like designers would do it. As detailed as possible, how shall your perfect car look like? How should your dream husband look like? Whatever it is, what your goal, your wish is, just write it down as detailed as possible. Add some pictures, like visualize it. And also then, affirm it. S meaning, say it out loud. Remember in the beginning, I quickly said in these like three, um, the three path uh, way, you have to like create a, a routine, a habit. So this is something like in your morning habit, when you meditate, when you like affirm your goals, say it out loud, do it in the bathroom while looking at yourself in the mirror. Affirm it, say it out loud, what your goal, what your wish is. Even if you don't feel like it right now, you don't feel confident about achieving it yet, do it. Fake it till you make it, pretend it, tell it to yourself in the mirror and just say it out loud. And while you do this, even more powerful is, or even in your meditation you could integrate this, visualize it. Really like close your eyes when you meditate or when you really like have it in front of your eyes, your goal. How does it look like in the here and now? How do you, how does it like visualize it and feel it? How does it look like when you achieve your goal, when you achieve your dream? How do you actually feel, feel it in that specific moment? Like how does it feel like when you achieve it? Most important is it's not about the future, not about the past. When you visualize it, when you feel it, when you say it out loud, it's in the here and now. Because here and now, you are already who you want to be with your achieved goals, with your achieved wishes, whatever it is that you want. Last but not least, my friend, uh, he is into karma. Um, he actually told me about, Janine, if there's something that you want, you all know about karma, right? You should actually help someone first someone who has exactly the same wish and goal as you. Help them achieve it first, and then you know karma. You give it, and then one day it's gonna come back to you. That's what he said what his secret is. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to share with you today. In case uh, you wanna join me for... Next page, please. Stay. Tomorrow I have a brunch, community brunch. I found it Monday Morning Motivation in Shanghai, whole China. It's an online WeChat group just to help people um, become more motivated, more inspired and to be surrounded, even if it's just online, by the right community, by the right people. So tomorrow we have an offline brunch um, here um, in Xujiahui, in case you want to join. Next page, please. And in general, every Monday morning at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock, we have an online webinar for 20 minutes with different kind of speakers and different like motivational, inspirational um, uh, speeches. On Monday, we have Ben Ivey. You may have heard of him, the fulfillment artist. He's going to speak about how to live an extraordinary life. And yeah, feel free to um, join the community. Next page, please. Last sentence, this is something I really believe in. This is how I want it, how I live my life. I think if you really take the courage, you do the first step and you really try something out, you jump out of your comfort zone, you can only win. 
And worst case, it's a learning that next time you can become better and really achieve what you want. Thank you so much for listening.